Welcome to Custom Art Framer uh, video tutorial. This video tutorial is covering capturing moulding images. So if you want to uh, add a moulding image uh, to your program to work as a visualisation component, there's two ways of doing this, or a number of ways really, but I'll show you two ways. We go to the Mode button top right, uh, right hand corner and select Image Capture. And this is the, uh, the area where you'll do that. Now there's, I've got two images of the same moulding. One is sitting on this website, the Marks website, it's a 241Y moulding, and the other uh, is a JPEG that I've got in a folder. Now this has come, this has come out of a catalogue, but you could also just take the image yourself with your camera. So in the uh, capture tool area, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do it if you've got a JPEG. This could be out of your camera or uh, um, from a, from a catalogue. So I'm going to open up the 241 JPEG and now it's in the work area. I'm going to save it, select the region as a moulding and you'll see a square marquee turns up. Now you need to rotate this marquee one rotation or 90 degrees away from that rebate. There's the rebate there. That's so that uh, it's in the correct proportion. I'll just very roughly do this to show you. Do a test and you can see it's pretty much like a, a moulding. If we didn't rotate it, so this is how it was when we first opened it up and did the test. You can see it's not repeating correctly. So you rotate it once uh, away from the, uh, the rebate and in this top part the rebate has to sit at the bottom and the top part of the moulding must go at the top. There's some fine tuned buttons over here. You want to get this line nice and straight. That's looking pretty good. Uh, and you're also wanting to get a nice repeat of that uh, of that grain and that pattern, and click the test button. It's not looking too bad. Um, you want to try and get uh, an area where the light is the most consistent, so the repeats don't look too bad. And you're better off having these uh, the marquee way in a little bit inside the moulding rather than outside the moulding. So that's looking pretty good. I'll save that now as a file. Save it as an image file. Now you have to save it in the correct uh, folder, which you go to My Computer, C Drive, Program Files, Custom Framer Art, DB, RES, Mouldings, and now it sits in there. Now it has to have exactly the same name as the moulding catalog name. And this program can't cope with dashes or dots, so they're all taken out. Uh, if there's a, a, a moulding has a dash in its name, the dash has been taken out and the moulding will just have the, the letters and numbers. This is 241Y, uh, it'll go to JPEG automatically, I'll save that. There's already one in there so I won't replace it, but you'll click, um, uh, you won't say, you'll just click yes. The next thing you do is get capture an image of this profile down the bottom. So you want to select this as an image. Open that marquee out. You can test that, and you've just got one nice uh, image of the profile. We'll save that as a file. That's going to go almost in the same place. Program Files, Custom Art Framer, DB, RES, Mouldings, and now into Profiles. And it'll have the same name, but start with a P this time P241Y and I'll save it. And again, I've already got one so I won't replace it. Now what we've just done uh, is this. If you look at the moulding database, it takes a little while to open up, I'm going to show you uh, what those images look like. To search mode, the supplier is marks, catalogue number 241Y, search uh, so there's the first image we saved. This is the one that they use in the visualization. And the second image that started with a P um, comes down here so you can see what the profile looks like. Now if you want to get the image straight from a website, go back to the uh, image capture mode. And this time, instead of clicking on camera or files, we'll go to the uh, add capture screen, more, screen capture, open program. Now you must have your website uh, open with the modeling you want. I'll just try that again, I'll, and I'll close uh, that JPEG first. Now there's my website open. I'm just 
screen capture open program and there it is, it opens the marks and I'll use the crosshair to define the area that I want to drag into the uh, work desk and there it is. So first of all, and now you just repeat what you did before. So first of all, saving the region as a moulding, rotating once away from the rebate and trying to get some, uh, some good, re uh, good region of uh, repeating pattern, fine tuning top right hand corner do a test, doesn't look too bad. So then you'd save that as a file, image file, uh, you would then go back to program files, custom framer art, DB, RES, mouldings, and you'd put it in there, again giving it exactly the same name as the moulding catalogue name. So I hope that uh, is a useful video tutorial for you. If anything isn't very clear in that, please let me know and I'll do a repeat or a follow-up. And if you have uh, any other tutorials you'd like to see, just let me know. Thank you.